Hey Finders, welcome back to Fortune Vines. Today I'm giving you guys an updated work makeup routine. So as you can see, I'm wearing a full face of makeup without using too many products, too many brushes, because the goal of this video is to fit all of our goodies in a small compact makeup bag that we can take to and from the office or maybe to and from a work trip or to and from vacation. Maybe you guys are going on a trip, you're going out of town, you don't have too much time to pack, you don't wanna to pack too much, this could solve all of your problems. I did a work makeup tutorial not too long ago. I think it was maybe a couple months back, but since doing that, you know, I've been using some of these Holy Grail products for so long that I was just like, you know, I gotta try something new. I gotta step out of my comfort zone, maybe find some new Holy Grail products that I love, trust, and adore, as I have loved, trusted, and adored my makeup products for, uh, the last several years. I still am incorporating some of the Holy Grail products. If you can see through this bag, which I got this bag as an Ipsy bag, super cute. It's clear with little ice creams all over it, so perfect for the summertime. But I do still have a lot of my Note Cosmetics. I have some It Cosmetics products that, you know, I just, I can't let them go. If you know me, like you know I am a face powder junkie and Note Cosmetics makes the best pressed powders ever. Like I love them. I adore them. Before we get into it, just a quick and friendly reminder, please be sure to subscribe. I would love to have you and also click that bell button this way you get a notification whenever it is I'm uploading a video here on my channel. So without further ado, let's stop babbling and let's get on to my work makeup routine slash the bare minimum essentials that you need for any bomb ass makeup look video. Okay, so we're going to pretend it's 7 a.m. I just rolled out of bed. Uh, uh, well, let's fast forward. Let's pretend like I already rolled out of bed. I washed my face using my Cetaphil face wash, and then that's it. So that's where we are. When I wake up, I use a very light cleanser. You guys know this if you watch my skincare routines. So I use Cetaphil. Very gentle. Doesn't really, like, strip your skin. Mad Hippie Vitamin C Serum. I love this stuff. I feel like it does a really beautiful job of brightening my skin. It really helps me look awake and super healthy. So I take about three drops and I put a drop on each finger. I rub them together. I pat this into my skin, mainly like focusing on the center of my face because that's where, you know, I want the brightness to happen. I want to look like I'm awake. I like to just start in the center and then work my way out. You're not going to feel sticky. You're really not even going to feel this on your face. It feels really nice and it's just going to give that brightening effect. So I'm going to give this about a minute to soak into my skin before going in with my SPF moisturizer. This is a recent one that I've been testing out. Mike actually bought this for me. This is the Biore UV Watery Essence SPF 50 Plus. This I believe he got on Amazon. It's called Aqua Rich and it sells out very quickly and people really rant and rave about this. It really feels like water. That's why it's called Aqua Rich. It feels like a water and it goes right on and it is like the thinnest, thinnest layer of sunscreen ever, but it really smells strongly of alcohol, and I don't like that. Alcohol really dries out the skin. If you have very sensitive skin, which I do have very sensitive skin, the alcohol might irritate you. It has yet to irritate me. I haven't had any bad reactions, but it has a strong alcohol smell, so if you're sensitive to that, you might not like it. An alternative for you that is thicker. It does feel like a thicker sunscreen. This has been my holy grail for a while. This is the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Moisturizer with SPF 30 in it. This stuff is really, really good. All right, but we're rambling a lot about the sunscreen and this is supposed to be a quick video. So I'm going to take some of this. I usually take about that much. Rub this into the skin, really focusing on my nose and my forehead because those are the places, you know, that's closer to the sun. Let that soak into the skin. Tarte Base Tape. This is a hydrating primer. So I'm going to take a little bit of this, that much. Pat this into the skin. Really focusing on the areas where my makeup leaves me first. So that is my nose, my forehead, and my chin. And then I'll take what's ever left over and just pat it throughout the rest of my skin. Your Skin But Better It Cosmetics CC Color Correcting Full Coverage Cream Anti-Aging Hydrating Serum. So I like this because it's kind of like a foundation with skincare in it. It's light, it's hydrating, it doesn't clog my pores. I like to wear something a little bit lighter during the week. And I'm in the shade Medium. I like to disperse it with a brush. This is Sonia Kashuk number 121 brush. This has been like my favorite foundation brush for a really long time. And then I will go in and perfect it with the sponge because this is pretty thick and it kind of can go on like a little gloppy, patchy if you don't take off the excess. And that's what you do with a sponge. Typically it soaks up any of the excess product that your skin 
can't absorb or really doesn't need. And now I'm gonna take that sponge. I would go ahead and run this under the sink and make sure it's damp. If you squeeze it and there's water still coming out of it, it's too wet. So now I'll go ahead and I will just stamp all over my face to really help blend that CC cream in. I'm gonna go in with another layer to show you guys how buildable this CC cream is. Not that it's super buildable, but it is buildable. Um, but typically I would stop here just because it's work. I mean, I don't care enough to be honest. Two layers and this is one layer. I'm gonna go ahead and put on the second layer so my face is a little bit more even. I don't wanna look crazy for the remainder of the day. You can achieve fuller coverage in areas where you need it by just using a concealer, which we are going to do in just a second. Using the Tarte Tape Shape, I don't do too much concealer, but I do do it under my eyes. I will put some on my chin because I get a little red there. I mean, honestly, I kind of just put it where I typically put it. So let's go ahead and do that. Pat this gently into the skin. I'm going to bring it over my eyes because my eyes tend to be a little purple and dark. Oh, for banana powder, you guys have seen this so many times. I love this. This crap goes with me like everywhere I go. So, so good. I'm just going to make sure there are no creases under my eyes. So I'm going to look up and take that sponge and just stamp it one more time because if you set the creases, they will be there all day long with a fluffy brush. And I'm going to just pick up that banana powder and just sweep it underneath my eyes. And this banana powder really brightens up the face. So if you are just like very tired looking which in the mornings like I look like I just rolled out of bed all the time until at least like noon that's just my eyes are puffy I just have so much discoloration so the banana power will really brighten up that under eye area I'm a big fan of this this is my favorite all over the face pressed powder this is the note cosmetics luminous silk compact powder and I'm in the shade 02 natural beige I'm gonna go ahead and take this and to apply it I just take a fluffy brush this is a Morphe E3, so I'll just go ahead and dust it all over and then pat this all over the skin. If you're very, very dry and you don't like to mattify your entire face and set the whole face, you can just go in in your T-zone, so just down your nose, on your chin, and like maybe like right here. I hate when I get oily right there, personally, so I do like to focus it right here. You're not gonna look cakey if you use, you know, more than I'm using right now. It's very, very finely milled. It looks really, really nice and it makes the face look super natural. And I like to lay this down because it does help the bronzer and the blush to also go on a little bit smoother. By throwing on a powder over a cream, it helps to lock that cream in so that when you go in with something that's a little bit more pigmented, like a bronzer or a blush, it'll go on very smoothly. It's not gonna be skippy and it just it lays it down nicer. Morphe bronzer powder in the shade Debutante. Using an angled brush, I don't know what this is. And I'm gonna put it right underneath my cheekbone and we're gonna like brontour our face so that looks really dark on the camera but not so dark in real life okay it's okay we're gonna blend it out so I'm kind of just like brontouring my face so contour bronzing on the other side as well so like right where my cheekbone is that's where I like to apply it and then blend it on up and then make my five head of forehead and push it into the hairline Now we're just doing like that three, the infamous contour three, which I'm sure you guys all know from watching my channel. I've talked about this several times and I do have a few contouring videos at this point. Blend it down the neck so your face matches your neck. Super important. So the nose doesn't look flat, I'm gonna take what's ever left and just swoop it down the sides of my nose. So like a light contour, nothing crazy. But we want to keep the dimension in the nose because otherwise it kind of just, you lose the nose, which some people like that, but I don't. I'm going to go over with that brush that has whatever is left of the No Cosmetics and just go over the cheeks a little bit just because they do kind of look a little pat. Oh, that looks so much better already. Okay, we're fine. No Cosmetics. I use a lot of No Cosmetics um, in my day-to-day -day life if you're not realizing that already but this is a luminous silk compact blusher in the shade 01 pinky beach morphe jaclyn hill jh06 to apply that just on the apples of my cheeks i know a lot of people smile and then apply their blush but what that does is when you smile and apply it so say i were to apply right here and then when i don't smile like most of the day i don't smile when i'm at work to be honest 
Um, but if I'm smiling and I apply here and then when I'm not smiling, like that means the blush is right here and that is bringing your face down. Look at your face and see where your cheeks naturally are so that when you're smiling, it looks fine. When you're not smiling, your face is still lifted. And then I'm just gonna go over the nose a little bit because you know, I feel like it just gives like a cute, like youthful effect. And then I'll go with what's ever left and just brush it all over the face because I'm weird and I love blush. Okay. Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Bar. I hope this is still available, but I know that they always have highlighting bars. They are really nice. I do like them. And this is like in a lighter pinker shade. I'm taking it on a Morphe M510 and I'm just brushing this on the tops of my cheeks. Look how beautiful that is. Let me tell you something, Wet n Wild knows how to do good highlights. Like, their highlighters are so nice, they're so affordable. I'm such a big fan. And I'll bring it underneath my brow bone, kind of like bring it over, like underneath the arch of my brow like that. Take some down the nose. This is like the best eyeshadow palette to bring with you on a day-to-day -day basis. It's really, really versatile and it's so compact and so cute. This is my eyeshadow brush when I go to work. This is the only eyeshadow brush that I bring. So I use this and my finger and that's it. This is the Luxie 249. One side has like a blending brush, so a fluffier brush, and then one side has a flatter brush, so something to really pack in the pigment and be a little bit more precise. Light brown right here. I'm just gonna throw this in the crease. That gold shade, I'm going to take it on my finger and I'm just gonna stamp this all over the lid. This is such a pretty, like look at that. So pretty. I'm such a fan of this eyeshadow palette, Natasha Denona. I wish your shit wasn't so expensive though. Same thing on the other side and I'm using the same finger on the opposite hand to get the same reach. I am going out and I want my brows to look fleeky, so I'm gonna hop off camera, do my brows, and then we'll touch base and I'll show you guys how I use this. So I'll be right back. Essence Make Me Brow, I'm in the shade Brownie Brows, and I would just take this tinted brow gel and just go over my brows. It would just give them a little extra pigmentation, help them stay in place all day. <gasps> and sometimes that happens when you're an ass and not paying attention to what you're doing. Sigh. Okay, it's fine. It's fine, we're fine. I'm gonna grab some more of that highlighter and I'm just gonna take my finger and put it underneath my brow and I'm just gonna put this like up here. Curl the lashes. Benefit Bad Gal Bang Mascara. Today for the lips, I'm gonna show you guys the lip liner that literally never I never leave the home without this lip liner, to be totally honest. Koki Retractable Lip Liner in the shade 522 Dusty Rose. When traveling, it's nice to have a retractable lip liner because I don't have to carry a lip pencil sharpener in my bag. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm not gonna like dramatically overline the lips, I'm just gonna line them. This is the Makeup Forever Artist Liquid Matte 105. I forgot Makeup Forever doesn't have names, but this is in the shade 105. It's a really nice nude color, kind of like purple on me, but I like a nude lip that leans a little lavender on me. Just so you guys know, I am still utterly obsessed with this. I love this so, so much. If you did not see my review wear test video on this, I will link it up here. Check it out when this video is over, but I do love it. The only thing I will say is like, just try to pin your hair back when applying this because it does have SPF in it and it could, you know, make your hair a little bit greasy. It's really not that bad. Shake it out though. This is the finished makeup look. I love this. I think this is definitely something that, honestly, I'd be happy wearing every day. Super simple, love the eyes, and it's quick. I know I talked a lot through this video, but if I were to not speak, I have timed this before, and it can take me 10 minutes or less. Let me know down below in the comments what are some of your everyday products that you cannot live without. What does your work makeup routine look like? What does your everyday makeup routine look like? Also in the comment section, if there are any videos that you are interested in, please let me know, whether it's beauty, skin care, hair care, 
if it's a routine that you want me to teach you, maybe like a skincare routine or maybe a tutorial on how to do a certain makeup look that you found, just let me know. I want you guys to come here for answers. And if you are searching for answers, ask me the question and I will happily provide them here. I really, really love makeup and I really want to share my love for skincare, self-care, self-love with you guys. That is really the point of my channel. I really hope that I inspire you guys to make room for the things in your life that you so enjoy. I mean, this is a work-related video. I do work full-time. I work 40 plus hours a week. I have a full-time job. Am I passionate about my job? No, but I make time to sit down with you guys to show you the makeup that I so love. I make time for myself every day. I work out. I do a 15 to 20 minute skincare routine at night. You gotta make life your own. You need to make space and make room for the things that you enjoy. And I just want you guys to feel empowered. And I want you to feel like you can go and create and shape your day however it is you so choose. And if you are one of those guys or gals that loves makeup and skincare and all the stuff that I love, then I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you. And also be sure to click that bell button next to the subscribe button. This way you get a notification whenever it is I'm uploading a video here on my YouTube. YouTube channel. I had a great time as always. Thank you guys so much for joining me and I'll see you in my next one. Bye finders. Mwah.